Living hinges are very useful and widely used in injection molding. But 3D printed living hinges normally only hold up for maybe 30 cycles. But with some clever designing, we can make them last for hundreds of uses. There are two main ways of doing this. I will show the first and simpler way in this video, and a slightly more complex, but in some regards better way in a future video. So please consider subscribing if you want to see that. Here I have a simple box that I modified from a previous video. Now we just connect the two box halves with a thin strip of plastic. You can vary the size of the strip, but I would use a value of about the height of one box half times pi as the length of the hinge. I already did that with this transform feature here. This is so the hinge can form a nice half circle when closed. I would make it as wide as the box. You might think that making the box thicker would increase the lifespan, but actually one or two times your layer height is best. I am using 0.4mm because my layer height is 0.2mm. If you make it thicker, the outer part of the hinge will have to stretch further because the, of the bigger radius and just break. I'll just slice and print this now and then we can try it. Quick side note, when slicing make sure you rotate your model so that the lines when printing go in the direction of the hinge, like this. As you can see, it printed successfully and the hinge works great. You can also see nicely why half the box height times pi is a good length, as this forms a nice half circle. I'll quickly go over the downsides of this hinge design, as we are already close to the end of this video. Firstly, this hinge is quite big. If we open it up, it is nearly as long as the box itself is long. The second flaw is that this hinge will want to open itself as it was printed in this way. Although with some materials, especially PLA, it will deform plastically very quickly, which in this case is actually good. So overall, we can say that this hinge is very simple and good, especially for small and thin boxes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye!